All right, hello. Um, I'm gonna go over some of these vessels that are here around um, the neck of the hat, uh, the cat, and um, going down the arms. Bring you in a little bit. Um, well, notice here. Um, so we're we're coming up from the heart here. Let me draw back a little bit. Um, here's the heart. And we've got this blue blood vessel. So I'll go over the veins first. Um, and this, probably not surprisingly, is the superior vena cava or the pre cava. And then it splits into two. And, right. So here's our superior vena cava, and then we have these. And these are each called brachiocephalic. This and this, just before they split. Brachiocephalic. There's another name for this, but uh, it's called innominate. And the, the, the meaning of the word innominate means nameless, which is weird because it has a name, brachiocephalic. But um, you might, I don't know, run into to anatomists and people in the medical field that might call it that. So anyway, but brachiocephalic, there it is. All right, now I think I might try to tilt things a little bit and zoom in a little bit. So we'll, we'll take a look at this brachiocephalic and then you see this branching off and it's going obviously up here to the neck and this is external jugular. And after the external jugular branches off, then you have some blue that's going further down the arm. And that is called subclavian. But it's called subclavian just for a short little distance here until this blue starts to branch downward, okay? And the one that's branching downward, kind of away from you, is subscapular. It is kind of going to the scapula and heading towards that subscapularis um, muscle eventually. All right. And then, I'll move this out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna shift things over a little bit. Okay. And then, so we have our subscapular, external jugular, this is our subclavian. And then there's, there's this. Um, this is called axillary. And there it is, so axillary. And it's called axillary until this little blue guy branches down. And then this is called brachial. There's another marker, it's up here, it's for an artery, this little blood vessel is another marker for the switch from axial, uh, axillary to brachial. And it's going to be at the same place for both arteries and veins. Okay, I thought I'd um, show this area again simply because uh, when I showed it the last time, this this rib cage was a bit in the way and you and you couldn't see all the branches so easily. And so um, we're, we're looking at where the, the vena cava comes up here and then splits into the two brachiocephalic. I'm gonna zoom in maybe a little bit. And then external jugular 
this is where it's subclavian, but just for a very short distance because this branch is off and this branch is off. And so subclavian, subscapular, axillary. And um, here we've got a marker for the switch to brachial. Okay, and now we're going to look at some blood vessels here in the neck. And this is the external jugular on the other side. And you can see this very nicely stained transverse jugular. It's not always stained so well. In fact, a lot of the blood vessels aren't always so stained well up here because this is where they actually do the injection. In fact, you might see little knots that are tied at the injection site. And so sometimes the... the um, the latex that they use to stain doesn't always loop all around in here, but it did for this cat. So um, this is the transverse jugular. Um, and then you have some branching here, right nearby. And these are facial veins. So this is the anterior facial vein, and this is the posterior facial vein. And I'll zoom in a bit here. So anterior facial vein, posterior facial vein, kind of goes up towards the parotid salivary gland. And here I want to show you the, the transverse scapular vein. And here again, we've got the external jugular going up. But if you look behind that, you should see this vein it's branching downward. And you can also see that there's an artery associated with it as well. Um, those are each the transverse scapular, vein and artery. And you can trace the artery back. So you can see here's the artery going up here that's still transverse scapular artery and the transverse scapular vein just branches differently and then it's coming off of the external jugular. Okay, and um, here I want to show you costa cervical vein. I'm going to have drawn here, but I'm going to zoom in a bit. And you can see that we're right here at where the vena cava is that branches to the two brachiocephalics. And if you look over here, now these, the, the two costa cervicals don't branch at the same place, right and left. So here on the left side of the cat, you see that blue vessel kind of branching down into the top of the rib cage. And then there's one here. It goes to the same spot, but it branches off of the vena cava instead. But the destination is the same. The costa cervical drains, uh, the, the costa cervical veins drain the blood from the most anterior intercostal veins that you'll see in another part of the video. Um, a lot of the intercostals get drained by the azygous, but the very top ones do not. The, the top ones do get drained by the costa cervical. So it kind of tucks into the top of the rib cage. And here it is on the right side of the cat, and it's branching down there on the left side of the cat. Okay, now we're gonna start to take a look at some arteries. Um, we're here right near the heart. I'm gonna zoom in and take a look at some of the initial vessels that head up to the neck from the aortic arch, which is here. Um, but sometimes you have to push the veins to the side. Things a little, look a little unnatural, but it's a good way to take a look at these arteries. So you should be able to see this large artery here, kind of coming up along next to the vena cava vein. This is the brachiocephalic artery. Um, it's called that because already you're getting the split to, um, where brachiocephalic means arm, and head. So it means that there's arm and head things going in it. So this was the brachiocephalic for the veins. 
and they drained neck and arm thing, so that made sense. And then here, things are going outward, but um, this blood vessel here is already only arm things. So this, you know, we, so we have um, brachiocephalic, but this is subclavian already, okay? And so on the left side of the cat, it's subclavian artery. And then it comes around the rib cage. And um, then you can see it come out here. I think I might, I might try to move things so you can see a better angle. Okay. So, um, the, the rib cage is a little in the way here. Let's see. There. So there's the brachiocephalic, and then you see that it's coming up to where the, the top of the rib cage is, and this is a cut rib right there, and then it travels around, and it's coming here. And then we see it again right here. So here, by the time it kind of comes out of the rib cage, it's now called axillary. Um, there's not a nice uh, branching point that we have with the veins where things turn from subclavian to axillary. Um, there is a little blood vessel that does branch off here. We do see the transverse scapular branching off uh, here, heading uh, upwards to where it meets with the transverse scapular vein there, see? See the pink there? That's transverse scapular, so that's another look at it. It is branching off there. Um, so something is branching off. Um, and you have this name change, so that this artery here and here still is axillary. Now, the, the branch to the subscapular um, from the artery, uh, the, it, it's a little bit shorter. It, it doesn't have this long traveling um, subscapular here. This is a subscapular vein. This is the subscapular artery. Let me grab it down here. This guy. And so that artery is traveling along with the vein. So they're, they're going to the same destination. They get the same name. This little guy, you don't have to know the name, but it is the marker for where axillary turns into brachial. Then, okay, so we've got our subscapular, axillary, and brachial down here for our arteries. And if you go back here and, and take a look along the neck, it'll go out a little bit, um, you can see these very obvious arteries that are running along the neck. And so that's the common carotid. The common carotid will come up here and eventually split into the internal and external carotids, but um, those are difficult to see. But we will see these guys.